हेलो एवरी वन आई एम के मनीषा फ्रॉम थर बी कॉम जनरल महालक्ष्मी उमेंस कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस वेलकम टू दि मैराथन ऑफ बुक रीडिंग इन द नेम ऑफ सर्च दि रूट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दि रिव्यू ऑफ बुक अ गर्ल विथ डार्क स्किन इट वॉज अ स्टॉर्ट स्टोरी इट वॉज रिटर्न बाय श्रुति कर्पी लेट्स गेट इन टू दि स्टोरी आई एम दैट गर्ल मै सेल्फ श्रू I am not that cool so here is my story few years ago i was totally shy uncomfortable non confidence girl a girl who was no choice no idea about anything and also with no good look in all a girl with color black which was too embarrassing of her her friends and family did not like her much from her childhood she had no best friends and she never opened up her heart to anyone just because of her dark color and low confidence she always feared to making jokes she lived distance actually too distance from everyone but now she is an independent classy beautiful full of confident girl who can speak up what she feels she can do anything she wants to i know this is very confusing to think that the girl with shy and typical behavior made such changes when i was born my mom called my dad to see me she was very happy to have a daughter and my dad too but he knew that his daughter was born with color black and he refused to come in the hospital to see me just because of my dark color don't think that hates me he loves me a lot i am very lucky to have a super dad like him and i am his princess but i did not understand the logic of this society i don't understand what's the actual problem of this society why they pretend dark skin as a alien or fate we are humans at last with the same heart same blood please don't judge us by our color we have feelings too we also get hurts firstly you have to know us you have to check our knowledge you have to see our behavior then judge us just because of this behavior we can't live happily i always have complex in my mind and heart that i am ugly i am not good enough of for anyone anything i was just losing my confidence and that time in our childhood we were not mature enough to understand this we think that if they are speaking like this it means in reality we are wrong somewhere and they are right and this complex never goes from our heart i literally went through depression just because of our we want fair skin society in this society they don't judge us by our talent our behavior our achievements they only judge us by our color our outer look i am requesting all the people please don't do this because if once the complex is formed on a child's mind it will never go and it will kill that child from inside when i was in school i faced lots of troubles lots of annoyance all my classmates either teacher also did not like me as much they thought i am a stupid girl or i am a cheesy girl i also suffered with two things first is hate or annoyance and secondly sympathy but i did not like any of this sometimes i thought annoyance was okay but sympathy was not i am not that give me sympathy type person only i wanted was acceptance i just wanted to be accepted by the society that this is a blessed color of a people just accept the truth and move on and i don't understand what is the big deal with this why our society can't accept this easily there is one thing that my mother always taught me it is more important to be than to be seen this line changed my whole world whenever i get fluctuated with my life or with my problems i always remember this lines and this gives me new hopes 
new life to fight my problems my mother and father were always with me they always gave me new hopes and i am very lucky to have parents like them but all the girls out there they don't have same parents like me so at that moment what should they do should they continue to suffer from this problem this trouble this tolerance why just because of god gifted them dark skin we have to have shame on us people irritate me by the color of my skin this is the main reason i would build my confidence because whenever i decided to build my self confidence everyone came to me tell me how ugly i am we have two wings but they are million scissors to cut our wings to hurt us but even from this i find my way in life we think loving a right person is the most important thing but according to me it's also important thing to get loving back we always love a person too much because we know the real or true cost of love especially me literally from small age i only want is love always longing for love i never feel that i don't get that but i always longing for that so as i get older than actually understand that love is not the most important thing in life but respect and acceptance is most essential thing in life we believe in everything we believe in sun we also believe in moon we believe in planets we believe in horoscope we believe in scientist and we also believe in rocket and science but in this all beliefs journey we only don't believe in yourself when we actually get believed in ourselves we don't have to believe in these things we all are special and capable sometimes we don't feel okay and that's the okay it's really okay to be not okay if someone is judging you it's okay you don't have to always react on that especially when you are a woman if you think whatever you are doing is the right one then go for it never ever you have to listen to others you know in this journey of love respect and acceptance the only thing is to do is self belief that's it i hope you have learned something through this story thank you